I'm Tom. And I'm Molly. Welcome to Friends at Gameology, hosted by MoonlightCrew.com. Reviews for science. In seven minutes or less. Space Hulk Death Angel. The card game. The card game. Uh, let me just say, this starts out with a little flavor text that says, Estimates, 44% chance of mission success with 86% chance of squad casualties. And I think that's, <laughs> that's, like, that's to say the least. This game is so difficult. It's a, this is a cooperative game. Uh, Warhammer 40k Universe, uh, think Aliens, the movie, or Alien when you're, they're entering a ship, and uh, gene stealers and aliens attack from every side. So you have these, what do we got here? You got these space marines in a single file, and they can only face one way, with these gene stealers attacking, um, maybe from behind. Oh, I shouldn't be laughing, it's so sad. Oh my goodness. Oh. So, uh... You've got these these space marines, and you are trying to use your attack cards and your movement. Whoop, excuse me, and your support cards to um, either move up and down the line, attack the gene stealers, or uh, support by putting out these tokens that will let you reroll a die if ever you need to reroll. Maybe. Well, you might be. Able to yeah, if they attack from behind, <laughs> you can't reroll it. So I mean, it, this game is so brutal. And whenever you play one of these cards, the next time you play a card, you can't play the one you previously played. You have to play one of the next two, and then it gets added back to your hand, so you can't always attack, even though you need to attack. Yeah, you need to kill them. Every single turn. Yeah. Uh, when, you, when they attack you, they roll, and if they get uh, less than the, their number, you die. That's it. Or that, equal to, and the die only or equal to, to five. Or equal to five. You, to kill them, it's a 50% chance, usually, yeah. if you're playing regularly, of getting a skull, which is printed on three of these faces. So... Uh, let's just simplicity versus complexity. Uh, it's just complex. It's there's a lot of pieces. Um, there's a lot of things. You're all working together. The more people you have, the more more complex. The more teams of people you have out there. Because if you're playing two players, you could play two teams, um, which is suggested because you're you're gonna die. I don't know. You're, you're just it's, it's so sad. We just stop right now. No, it's pretty complex. Um. Because there's a, there's a lot of pieces, a lot going on. You, like Tom said, you can only play one card, then you have to not play that one card and only play these. The order is complex. I yeah. think I think it's it's complex, just and there's a lot of steps you have to follow. Yeah. A lot of people had a lot of complaints about the rule book. Uh, I mean, it it is what it is. I I I've been able to play with it now, so I feel like I've got it. But I recognize that there it is a little difficult to understand. Luckily, there's this quick reference on the back that we, we use pretty much every time. single time yeah. we play. Like, we just run through the back uh, over and over and over again. Uh, when it comes to luck versus strategy, <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> I think this game is luck-based. A lot of luck. And I think I feel that way because I've been on the bad, bad end of this blasted die roll. The zero has killed me so many times. It's uncanny. I know. And it's I, not and that's statistically why likely I, how many well, times we've rolled zeros. <laughs> like, it doesn't... No. That's not how no, statistics not, work. No. Come on, come on, statistics. Get with the program. But I think I feel that way because I am jaded with this dice. Um, and so I think there is a fair amount of strategy to go along. When do you play what? Because you can only... You can't play two attacks in a row. Um, and people have special tech. So it's just... It, there is a lot of strategy and what facing you're going to have and what you're going to do. But it is a lot of luck. Um, and I probably feel it's more luck because of what I've already said about dying with the dice. This game is super luck. You can put up all the strategy you want, do everything perfectly correct, then draw an encounter card at the end and it says, hey, everyone switches their facing. Or add a, a, a gene stealer behind, behind. every behind. single Why minor. not? Why not just Come in front on. of Come on. Why don't you just behind. kill us now? Why don't you just flip That's it over and doing. say game end? That's what they're doing. Killing so, us. Very lucky. It, you can. There's strategy. Uh, there's game. no denying that there's strategy in this game. But man, it is some serious, serious luck. That uh, just ruin all of your strategy. True. Fun versus boring, though. With all of what we've said, <laughs> you may think we dislike this game. And I don't know about you. I think this game is fun. Uh, I think it's fun because not all of these Space Marine teams are created equally. No, no, no. no. Green is terrible. It has one of the best attacks in the game, yeah. which almost never happens. You have to roll a four. It's not four or above, or it's just... And then you kill them all? You kill three. Whereas this one over here rolls the die any number that he that he rolls is the, is the number that's slain. Over here you have one Which? that just kills three at a time, and then rolls to see if they get a zero, and then dies. I mean, so they're not created uh, equal. There's, no. it, there's a... It, it, you will play different games every time. Yeah. Speaking of which, 
when you go through these these uh, levels and get more gene stealers until you get to the end, there's all sorts different of different locations. locations that you'll play with. So literally, the games will be different every time. I think in that sense, it's it's pretty fun. I, I would agree that this is a fun game. We get killed, and I think that, that partly makes a good co-op to me because I want to win. This one just murders me every single time. But I, I think it's fun, and just when, when Tom was talking, it just made me think how thematic it is that you've got this ship, or whatever it is, I imagine it's a ship, um, that just has different rooms, so each game is different because they're coming in at different points, so you're a different mix, a team, um, and you're just doing different things. I think it's very thematic, and I feel like I would, I would, I would probably get killed if I was attacked by gene stealers. That is, even if I had all this armor. I was saying, I if would, I was wearing that armor, I would, I would, I would live. Mm, would you know what to do with it? Absolutely. Okay, Tom would live, I, I would not, and that's just how it would go. So I think it's very thematic in that sense. And I enjoy talking about it. We have a friend who just has said some funny things when playing this game and have, have made some funny choices. We're that, all going to die, man. It's straight out of Aliens. Yeah, so and so I th talk about it afterwards. So I do think it's a really, it's a pretty it's a fun game. BGG rating 6. Why? As fun as it is, there's player elimination, and yeah. it can get you in the first round. So I don't like that. I don't like sitting out. I don't like other people sitting out. Yeah, I would give it a 7. Um, fun game. We've presented the evidence. You be the judge.